Thank you, Bart and Jay, and good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be welcomed in such a wonderful city and by the mayor, and I'm very happy to be here. It's a great honor to receive such a distinguished recognition. I would like to thank the Board of Directors for giving me this opportunity to be in such celebrated company with Nastia, Andrea, Paul, and Alexi. We are only here because of gymnasts like you who endeavor to reach new heights of perfection and performance, and you have enhanced the level of the sport and increased the public interest and awareness of gymnastics around the world. You are the true role models for our younger generation. So first I have to admit that I was not a very skilled gymnast. <laughs> My claim to fame was performing the 1972 uneven bar compulsory routine. And Jay, it was on a set of adjusted men's parallel bars <laughs> with four people sitting on the edges so I didn't tilt the bars. <laughs> You don't have to worry, they were not AAM. <laughs> my, gymnastics, my gymnastics career was really molded around the motto of Sokol, as Bart has already explained. I really enjoyed teaching participants to stay healthy by exercising and using gymnastics <laughs> equipment to do it. I am a gym for life advocate. My career path, as you've already seen, took me through a school system, and I quickly organized judging and event management events. Being in sport helped me with my professional career, especially at Seneca College, where I developed an academic coaching program and the sports school setting. The combination was magic. I have to describe myself as a technical administrator and not an athlete like you. However, I learned very quickly that the infrastructure for gymnastics needed leaders, and I left the coaching and judging to other people. My 24 years at FIG were a true learning experience. I gained my leadership skills from the work we had to do at the international level, and especially developing the coaching program, as you've already heard, with Hardy Fink. We have held over 300 courses and had over 8,000 coaches in attendance. It was really the greatest supporter that helped us to gain this and spread it around the world, and that was President Bruno Brandy. As a volunteer in any organization, you must be active to be successful and contribute to the organization. People have asked me many times, why do you do this? <laughs> so much travel and you spend so much time. Well, my philosophy was pretty simple. As a volunteer, you also benefit a great deal, and I have. I have experienced many opportunities that have advanced my leadership skills because I was working, my personal qualities in dealing with people, resolving problems, and these gave me a lot of good friends from all around the world. Just a quick little example. Andrea, Alexi, and Bart. You may remember our experience in Tianjin, China in 1999 at the World Championships. I was the president of the media commission, I learned a little bit by then, and had all the headaches and complaints from the press, media, that the organizing committee had not really prepared. They didn't have seating for them, they had no power outlets for their computers, and they had poor access to the floor to cover the event. So we had to try and resolve this. 
It's a disaster for news agencies and TV broadcasting when they don't have the facilities they require. The host broadcaster had no experience in international broadcasting, and there was no plan. So things were a little difficult. The media director and the head of security didn't really work together. So they all had their rules. And Bart, if you remember, they were not going to let you on the floor to do the opening so that they had the gym venue behind them. And at the edge of the mixed zone, I led you through in, and there was a very tall Chinese man who almost punched me out because he was security. And we were not to go there. However, we got there and we made it. So we had to react to a crisis almost every day. But as the vice president, I also had the opportunity to meet some very distinguished people. The Presidential Commission, and I was the Vice President, was invited to meet the Prime Minister of China in Tianjin. We were driven to his personal palace, and as is the custom in China, each party sits on one side of the room. Bruno Brandi, as President, was prepared to speak on behalf of FIG. And then the Prime Minister surprised us all, and he asked each of us to comment about our experience at the event. I froze. I couldn't tell him we had nothing but trouble. <laughs> so, I took a positive and a little political approach. And I congratulated him on a very nice press center, which they had just built for the event, and how the media enjoyed the facilities. And I didn't say anything more. Then he acknowledged that he knew about many of our TV pro problems. And then he finished by saying, if you have any more issues, you phone me. <laughs> I was shocked, and I thanked him, but he never gave me his phone number. <laughs> now, as the Vice President of the FIG, I have, as Bart has already mentioned, accepted two very important positions. My first role is in safeguarding and creating policies and procedures for the FIG, as well as assisting our federations to ensure that they have the proper policies in place for protection from abuse and successful during, uh, that all our athletes are successful during their careers. At the developing level, gymnastics is a children's sport and it is our responsibility to ensure safety to every participant from a beginner to champion. I'm also pleased to lead the Women's Commission in Gymnastics and our task for this cycle is an interesting one. We have to ensure that women leaders are identified and prepared for the next cycle as decision makers. While we have a huge female base, our leadership does not reflect that. We did a survey, concluded that, and at this year's Congress, we will be establishing a quota for women and gender equality by 2028. Once again, I would really like to thank the Board of Directors for the Hall of Fame for honoring my work in a sport that I love dearly and from which my life has been enriched and I have grown so much as a result. So thank you very much.